So this is my full leg day workout. I usually start off with squats. I do five sets. And of course, you know, the number is always 10 to 12, minimal eight. Then I push on to single leg press on a leg press machine. The reason I do single legs is I feel like it gives me a better tension within my hamstrings and I just feel like I get more out of the exercise. Now, after doing the heavy squats and the high reps and then moving on to this with high reps around 200 pounds here, I'm definitely feeling this in my hamstrings. My legs are definitely getting warmed up and preparing me for the rest of the exercises. Now, I'm still doing 10 to 12 reps around here. Um, the first set of squats, I know I only got eight on the last set because I was kind of tired. I then do leg extensions. Secret here is these are spectacular for knee strength. Around the knees, yeah, I know they're working other parts of the legs. But around the knees, those are fucking great. Then move on to a whole lot of calf work. Now, what I'm doing here is calf raises. I'm using two 45-pound dumbbells. It feels great. I'm getting my calves warmed up. My calves are already pretty strong, but I don't stop there. I got to get a little bit of abs in. Every day I do a little bit of abs. I don't always show it, but I do a minimum five to 10 sets of abs every single day. So here I'm doing the, I'm a little teacup dance, looking like a fucking idiot, but these are actually great for your sides. Now I've been doing these consistently for probably about the last year in between this sit-ups, leg raises, etc. So I can get my core a little bit stronger. Core is important for everything and core has always worked hard when you're doing legs. I then switch to this. This allows me to work the back of the legs as well as the calves. Again, I do this around 500 pounds. Now this is a short movement. You're only going down a little bit and up a little bit, but you're keeping that tension on you the whole time that you're in this movement. Keep yourself raised up. I then move on to calf raises and do that around 250 or so, go up to around three, 350. I do high reps of these. I do about 20 reps. Now, at this point, you're going to be burning your calves out, which is a good thing. Your hamstrings are going to be burning. Your glutes are going to be burning. Your legs are going to be tired at this point, but you're not done. We're going to move on to these. These are great for the hip flexor muscles on the outside, explosive strength, anything coming off the line, any fast movement. Those are spectacular for. Don't let these clowns tell you it's a girl exercise. You need this for leg strength, stability, etc. This is going to increase your groin strength. A lot of people are getting injuries in football, MMA, etc., groin pulls, because their groin is not strong. This is working the inside of your leg after you just work the outside. It's allowing you to work all around. Now you want to maintain a weight part of the that's leg. difficult, but not too difficult. You're not powerlifting here. You're trying to incorporate muscle fibers. You're trying to build endurance. You're trying to build strength and muscle all at the same time. So what you want to do is you want to have a minimum of eight reps. If you cannot get eight reps, lower the weight. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't understand this new age philosophy where people feel like they got to max out on everything, do maximum weight. Some of the biggest guys in the world are being in the gym doing 20 pound dumbbells. They know what they're doing a lot more than I do, a lot more than you do. The plan's already been set forth. All we have to do is follow it. Now, right now, I'm still not doing shoulders. I did have a shoulder day. So I'm consistently pushing these four things within a row. What I'm doing is I'm doing arms, chest, back, legs, and I'm cycling them. I'm also going and I'm doing cardio every single night, seven days a week. And I'm doing weight training seven days a week because I'm cycling through these four exercises. Like today, I'm doing lower body. My whole upper body has time to heal before I go back into them three days again. I'm also on a cycle now. So, of course, I'm healing faster as well. But my leg day may be a little bit too much for certain people. You may have to lower the weight. You may have to lower the sets. But if you do this, it's guaranteed to get your legs in better shape, to get you stronger, etc. Just always remember... Keep your diet consistent, keep your rest good, and make sure you do your cardio.